what's up you guys so i'm here to give you guys the uh stevie j and jocelyn uh review i believe this is episode is it two or is it three i don't fucking remember don't really care y'all already know these motherfuckers are super motherfucking quick so stevie meets with um fave gonna help her uh she's pretty much saying that you know since he's more popular than she is right now glad she can't admit that uh she wants uh jocelyn to kind of do like a five minute spread i would assume it's like before she comes out might as well have Stevie come out there and, you know, do a little something, something, whatever. It is what the fuck it is. Um, and Jocelyn meets with her, uh, meets up with a, uh, trainer. You know, he's, uh, you know, talk, saying that she need to uh, work on her mouth and that tongue. I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, I have a little bit more to talk about. So, uh, Stevie and, uh, Jocelyn go to Brandy Glanville's, uh, podcast. Don't know who she is. Maybe I should. Y'all let me know if y'all know her. But apparently it's uncut, so they talk about any and everything, and I guess she might want to be a uh, flavor of the month for them. I don't know. But she decides to take out, uh, well, she talks about her new pussy. And yeah, I said pussy. If you don't like pussy, vagina, coochie, you know, kitty cat, cootie cat, whatever the fuck you want to call it. She got her a new one because she felt insecure. And she volunteers to, I guess, take Jocelyn to kind of get some shit tightened up so they go and, you know, kind of go into like a little freezing chamber where it's like 25 degrees. Uh, and then, but, uh, you know, bikini and tongs and shit, which was nice. It was nice. But I mean, you know, if you, if you lived in, you know, the Midwest, you know, or even all, you know, far up east, you know, you know what, how it is to be cold. So, you know, I really wasn't impressed. Cause I'd have been standing outside in the short sleeve sharing some motherfucking shorts. And it'd been uh, 20 some odd motherfucking degrees, but that's not here nor there. We're not talking about me. So, Stephen J um, has his cheering come. And I must say, like, his children are fucking beautiful. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit, you know. And his son, Stevie J Jr., on some real shit. He said that's like, I could be my daddy's tw motherfucking they twin. Yeah. Okay. But I'm like, all right, that's cool. And, you know, uh, three of the five. So his oldest son is going to come later with uh, his uh, gra with the grandchild. And evil will be coming up shortly. And then we're going to see him talk to his children. And I'll pretty much drop the bomb that he want them to call uh, Jocelyn Hernandez uh, mother. Since that's your stepmother. Okay. Okay, so we're pretty much at the end, <clears throat> and I'm actually going to give you guys more this video around than I have before. So, um, the kids, uh, <clears throat> did I, did I mention this? If I didn't already say his oldest, uh, his girls, I'm sorry, his girls are not feeling Jocelyn, if I didn't already say that, because I don't think I did, but, um, they're all on the beach and whatnot, and I've already said what Stevie J was going to, uh, ask them, or more or less say to them, and, uh, you know, uh, he goes and uh, throws a you know a little small football with his uh, with his uh, son, and um, you know the girls pretty much been asking Jocelyn like, "Where you been?" This that, and the third, we used to be besties, whatnot, and she pretty much said like, "You know, I'm trying to do me for me right now with everything that's going on." You feel me? And <clears throat> you know the girls, and you know I think it was her, uh, I, not her, his second youngest. Well, no, he only has, no, no, he has three doors. So his second youngest door, because Eva is the youngest. It's just like, <clears throat> are you here? Are you not going to be here? You know, are you kind of throwing the towel this and third? And she pretty much says, you know, because of how I grew up, because of how my past is, for lack of better phrasing, it dictates how I deal with things right now. And I can appreciate Jocelyn for understanding that, because I think that even though this show is completely fucking fabricated, you can tell this was a real fucking moment. And... I know how it is, and I can truly respect and appreciate Jocelyn for being able to admit that, you know what, because of the shit that went on in my past, I realized that because this and this and this happened, I act this and this and this way, you know, and they have a support system she grew up without one. So I can respect that, and she even says that she's going to be around more, so regardless of what goes on between her and Stevie, she's going to be around more. And that's it. So I will see you guys later for K Michelle, my life. And yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Y'all know what the fuck to do. See you guys on the next video. Peace.